and welcome to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. As always, this class isn't suitable for pregnancies. Also, please consult with your doctor before participating. As always in yoga, should never be sharp pain in yoga, so please listen to your bodies. Without further ado, we're doing a lovely half an hour Hatha class today. Nice, gentle de-stress and relax. So starting with me lying down in Shavasana on your mats. Palms facing upwards towards the ceiling. As always, if you just tuck your chin into your chest, pop your head back down your mat, just to ensure your spine and neck's nice and long. So as always, starting off with our simple pranayama breathing, inhaling, exhaling through your nostrils. On the inhalation, your stomach should rise, and on the exhalation, your stomach should lower, just to ensure you're using your full lung capacity. So counting you in. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. So as always, we stay with that breath throughout our practice. No holding your breath in yoga. Bring some very gentle movement back to our bodies now, wiggling fingers and toes. Gently turning those feet out and then just rocking those feet all the way from those hip sockets, everything lovely and relaxed. Gently rolling the arms, wrists, hands, gently by your body. And lastly, we're just gently turning the head from side to side. So first of our stretches now, we're just inhaling the arms by the head, really big stretch in the wings and toes, big toes touching, please feel a nice stretch going on in those abdominal muscles. And then exhale the arms down by your side. We're doing that one more time, inhaling really big stretch in the wings and toes, stretch, stretch, stretch. Then exhale the arms down by your side. So normal warm-ups, taking the right knee into the chest, right knee into the chest, holding and clasping, interlinking those fingers just below the right knee, and we're just pulling that in nice and tight. In this posture, spine should be nice and flat on the mat. Head and neck nice and relaxed. So with this, we're trying to constrict that blood flow into that right hip area when we release blood flows in with the new nutrients and oxygenated blood. Last couple of breaths here. Okay, so on the next inhale, inhaling our nose up to touch the knee, nose up to touch the knee, shoulders roll back and down, a nice long crown of your head towards the ceiling. We're just staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax back down. We're taking the right foot down to the mat, left leg extends up towards the ceiling, and in the left knee, putting the left foot as close down into your tummy, half per masna if you can. Left hand arm goes through the gap in between the legs, and we're clasping the hands just below the right knee, pulling nose and knee in together. If this is too much for your head and neck, just relax your body back down to the mat. Just staying there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, untangle those legs, place them both back down on the mat. So left leg stays flat on mat, or right leg extends up towards ceiling, clasping the hands on the base of the right thigh, trying to pull that leg nice and straight over the top of your head. If you're into running or cycling and your hamstrings are tight, just bend that left knee, pull that left foot in towards the buttock, so you'll find this right leg becomes a lot more flexible. If a little bit more, get those toes flexed back to the wall behind you. Just a couple more breaths. Okay, so the next inhale, we're going to walk our hands up that leg, trying to take the hands up to the ankle, interlinking those fingers, we're bending the elbows out to the side, it's nose to knee, forehead to shit. So yet again here, think about those shoulders, keep them rolled down away from those ears, toes flex back if you can. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, keep your leg where it is, relax your body back down to the mat. So we're engaging our core now, pull your tummy and navel to spine, lowering the leg down, for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four. Drop an inch, three, two, one. Lower the leg down, pull the knees on chest, give them a hug, and gentle rock from side to side. Okay, let's warm up the other side now. So left knee into the chest, drop the right leg down to the mat just as we started on the other side. So as always, we're not having a rest here. Pull that knee as tight in as you can. Should really feel it in that hip area. Head, shoulders relaxed on the mat. 
Okay, on our next inhale, inhaling our nose up to touch the knee again, nose up to touch the knee. Shake again, shoulders roll back and down, neck nice on crown of your head towards the ceiling. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax back down. We're taking the left foot down to the mat, all right, leg extends up towards the ceiling, pinning that right knee, putting the right foot as close down into your tummy, half per masna if you can. Right hand arm goes through the gap in between legs, clasping the hands just below the left knee, putting nose and knee in together. Once more, if that's not comfortable for your head and neck, keep your body relaxed on your mat. Just staying there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, untangle those legs, place them both back down on the mat. So right leg stays flat on the mat, left leg extends up towards the ceiling, clasping the hands from the base of the left thigh, trying to pull that leg nice and straight over the top of your head. And again, for more flex those toes back to the wall behind. If you need to, yet again, putting that other foot into your buttock. It'll give you a lot more flexibility on that left leg. Staying there, last few breaths now. Okay, so on the next inhale, walking our hands up that leg, clasping the hands just to the ankle as high as you can go, bending the elbows out to the side, nose to knee, forehead to shin. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more done, keep your leg right here, relax your body back down to the mat. And again, engage those core muscles, pull them in, lowering down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, hold it there for Eight, seven, six, five, four, drop an inch, three, two. One more down, lower that leg down, put the knees into your chest, give a little hug, and it's always just gently rocking from side to side. Okay, we're going to come up to seated now on the mat. Legs out in front, grab hold of the fleshy part of your bottom, pull it back so you're sitting on your sitting bones. So we're warming those legs up now. So all we're going to do is bend our right leg. So you're popping the right foot to the inside or half a mile if you can. If this hurts your knee, please don't do it. Leg nice and straight in front, we're inhaling the arms up to the ceiling, really big stretch up, and we're coming forward and down. Now, ideally, nose and knee are touching. If they don't meet, don't worry about it. Shoulders roll down away from those ears. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one with control. Up we come. You guessed it, we're swapping those legs over now. So pop the right leg out in front. And again, for easier, pop the foot to the inside of the leg. Otherwise, if you can, half per master, leg nice and straight in front. So inhaling the arms up again, really big stretch up, and we're coming forward and down. So yet again, nose to knee, forehead to shin eventually. And again, be mindful of those shoulders, keep them down away from those ears. Stay in there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and nice and slowly up we come. Once we're up to seated, we're going to give our shoulders a lovely roll back and down. Okay, some lovely restorative ones for our spine now. So we're gonna come up to our hands and our knees for some cat and cow stretches. So your knees should be placed underneath those hips, hands underneath your shoulders. So with your cat stretch, you're tucking your bottom under, head under, chin under, and you're squeezing your hands against the mat, trying to look at your tummy. So you should find your back goes up towards the ceiling, staying there. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, going into our cow stretch, bottom up, head up, chin up, really push your bottom up towards the ceiling. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, another cat stretch now, bottom under, head under, chin under, really squeezing your hands against the mat. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, last one of these. Coming up, bottom up, head up, chin up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just return your spine to neutral. We're gonna take our knees nice and wide on our mat. If you've got knee issues, please don't do this. Just drop into child's pose. We're gonna get our bottom all the way back in between those heels. Arms out in front, forehead resting on your hands or your mat. So here, if you want to work a little bit more, you're gonna really push those hands against the mat, trying to squash your bottom tailbone back down towards the floor. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, to come out of this, we're going to lean our weight forward onto those elbows, bring your knees together, and we're just going to drop into child's pose. Pop your head on your hands and just stay there. So nice and slowly, we're just uncurling. 
Just re uncurling, release that spine, keep your chin tucked into your chest, up we come. And then once we're up to casita, give your shoulders a lovely roll back and down. So while sitting in easy pose now, we're gonna clasp the hands behind our back, interlink those fingers, pushing the hands down towards our feet, and then we're simply dropping our chin down towards our chest. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more down, release those shoulders, give them a lovely roll back and down. Okay, so we're coming to sit nice wide legged triangle on our mats. As always in our seated postures, take hold of the fleshy part of your bottom, pull it back so you're sitting on your sitting bones. Now, ideally in this, we're not bending our knees, we're trying to get those toes flex back towards us. So we're going to raise those arms up to the ceiling, big stretch up, and then we're coming forward and down, forward and down. Now, this won't be everybody's favourite posture, especially if you're into running or cycling. So if you can, and you wish to, you can take your hands slightly off the mat to keep them raised and simply relax your head down towards the floor. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One with control, use those hands to push yourself back up. So we're going to bend the right leg now. Yet again, popping the foot to the inside, or if you wish to, taking it into half a master, whatever suits your body. We're gonna raise those arms up again, really big inhale. We're twisting over that leg and we're coming forward and down. Now we're trying to get our nose down towards our knee eventually. Don't worry if you can't, just do what you can. Think about those shoulders back and down. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One we control. Up we come. So this time you're taking your hand down to the big toe, the calf or the ankle, whatever you can reach. You're bending that elbow and then we're dropping that arm over the top of our head. Now, it's imperative here you don't cheat and lean your body forward. It's all about feeling it down the side of your body, looking up under the armpit if you can. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done and up we come. So we're gonna swap those legs over now. So right leg out to the right, foot to left foot to the inside or half pamasana once more. Inhaling those arms up, big stretch up and then we're twisting over that leg coming forward and down. Yet again, nose to knee, forehead to shin if you can. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, up we come. Yet again, we're gonna take our hand down to the big toe, the calf or the ankle. Here again, we're dropping that arm over the top of our head, looking up to the ceiling if you can. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, up we come, put those legs out in front, give those legs a little wiggle if you need to. Now this moves us right on into our butterfly, one of my favorite uh, balances to do. So yet again, take hold of the fleshy part of your bottom and pull it back. Now we're gonna take the soles of our feet together here. You're taking those hands underneath the outside edge of those feet. We're wiggling our knees up and down. Yet again, just getting the insides of those thighs nicely warmed up. So we're going to stop our wiggling now. We're placing the elbows on the outsides of the calves and we're just pulling on those feet, trying to get our forehead down towards our toes. Don't worry if they don't meet, mine don't in this one. Just staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. Now the fun begins. So you're gonna take hold of your right big toe, the calf, the ankle. If your leg's nice and long in it, you may need to hold further up the leg. And we're extending that leg up towards the ceiling. Think about your spine and back. Don't slouch at the base of the spine. Sit nice and tall for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Okay, you guessed it, other side now. So left leg up, left leg up. Yet again, think about your spine, sit nice and tall for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Now, chances are your bottom slipped under those sitting bones. Mine has, so if you need to adjust yourself, pull your bottom back so you're sitting on your sitting bones once more. Okay, so the grand finale of Butterfly now, please do not rock back and bang your head, okay? And be mindful of this, you don't need to get the legs straight, it's about getting those feet off the floor. So when you're ready, we're gonna come back a couple of inches. Now pull that tummy in, core in, navel to spine, and then we're extending those legs up. Think about your tummy, sit nice and tall. Staying here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and release. Well done, I hope you did as well as I did. Okay, so we're gonna sit in Padmasana. If you can, if not, just take yourself into a normal cross-legged. A little bit more work for the spine. We're inhaling the arms up, really big stretch, and we're coming forward and down, forward and down. So you're just staying there. Now try and keep your bottom tailbone down up towards the floor. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up we come to center. Now, you can either pop one hand on each of those thighs. If you wish for more, okay, you're gonna pop the hand, right hand on the left thigh, left hand behind. Whichever one you're doing, you're pushing yourself around to look over your left shoulder to the back of the room. Now, keep your back nice and straight, twisting around. You should feel it in your tummy as well as your back and your neck. The tap, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, going all the way around to the other side. See it again, pushing it to his legs. Otherwise, left hand on right thigh, right hand comes behind, twisting around, looking over your right shoulder. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back to set. Well done. Now, while we're sitting in cross-legged or lotus padmasana, I just want you to take your right hand, we're walking those fingertips out, and we're dropping down to that right elbow. If you can, you're raising that arm over the top of your head, looking up to your armpit if you can. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up we come. We're going all the way over to the other side. So left hand out. Raising that right arm over the top of your head, looking up to the ceiling, keep that shoulder blade back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. Well done. Okay, so we're gonna come up to our knees once more. We're going to be stretching out those legs, so come to the middle of your mat if you can. So we're going to pop the right leg out in front, now your left knees are at a right angle. We're taking the right toes up towards the ceiling. So if you can, leg nice and straight, walking those hands out in front, and if you can, you're simply dropping your nose down towards your knee. Big stretch out the back of the leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. We're just gently gonna move those toes away from us. Don't worry if your toes don't meet the mat. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, we're gonna take that right leg back, bring that left foot through. Yet again, toes up towards ceiling on this left foot, walking the hands out, trying to drop your nose down towards your knee. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, working those toes away. Stay if you can, walk those hands a bit further out in front, leg nice and straight for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, take that left knee back. If you need a sip of drink now, have a sip of drink. Otherwise, we're coming up to standing. Okay, so we're going to take our legs into a nice wide trikonasana stance, feet parallel up, facing forward a lot at those knees. We're interlinking those hands and we're pushing the hands down towards the floor and we're simply dropping forward and down. So in this posture, head and neck nice, relaxed, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop your hands down to the mat, head hanging, arms hanging, head and neck gentle shake from side to side. We're going to walk our hands over to the right foot now, so it's left hand onto right foot, right arm extends up towards sitting, looking up if you can, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower down, head hanging, arms hanging, head and neck, gentle shake from side to side. Walking the hands over to the left foot now, so right hand onto left foot, left arm extends up to the ceiling, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, lower down, head hanging, arms hanging, head, neck, gentle shake from side to side. So we're gonna pull our tummies in, we're just uncurling, nice and slowly, bend the knees if you need to as you come up. And once you're all the way up, you're going to give your shoulders a lovely roll back and down and walk those feet in together. Okay, trick and arsena time. So we're gonna take our right foot out to the right, pivoting the heel back on the left foot. Now we want our tummy back to center. We're taking the right arm, our arms up to shoulder level. We're just bringing the right arm down and the left arm up. Right arm down, left arm up. Now, it's a misconception to think you should be touching your foot. It brings your body forward. You want to keep your shoulder back. So yet again, you're utilizing those muscles down the side of your body. Reach into those fingertips for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two. One more down, up we come to center, keep those arms raised if you can. Pivoting those feet around to the other side now, so left foot out to left, heel back on that right foot, tummy back to center, bring the left arm down and right arm up. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more down, up we can keep those arms raised if you can. Pivoting the feet around again, so right foot out to the right, heel back on the left foot. So we're going to bring the right arm down, and this time to make it a little bit stronger, we're dropping that arm all the way over the top of the head. Imagine your ear's cold, you're resting that arm on your ear. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more down, up we come, I know those legs are aching, so let's swap those feet over. So left arm down, right arm all the way over the top, looking up if you can. The 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up we come, couple more to do, come on you can do it, stay with me, we're going to walk those toes out a little bit further, dropping down on the right knee, we're going to rest the right elbow on the right thigh, left arm over the top, now sink on down in that hip, looking up, staying there, the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Going up to center again. Keep the arms raised if you can. Pivoting round. Put those toes out on the left foot. Dropping down that left knee. Right arm over the top. Staying there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done. Happy come. Whew. Give those legs a little rest and have a sip of drink if you need to. Okay, moving on, we're going to be doing just a couple of sun salutations. Surya Namaskar, nice and gentle, just to get that spine moving. Downward facing dog is my favorite posture, so stay with me. Front of the mats, feet into the and hip width apart, palms facing forward. Gonna have our shoulders lovely roll back and down and keep them pushed down, tuck your tailbone under. Okay, let's take a nice big inhale. Exhale into prayer, namaste everybody. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the right leg back, retain your breath, take the other leg back into plank. Coming down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra. Exhale, back into down dog. So head and neck, nice, relax. Walk out those feet, go up on those toes, have a bit of fun. Eventually you're gonna get your forehead on your mat and those heels down on your mat. Imagine you're squashing your hands against a table. That's how it should feel in those arms. So looking forward, inhaling that right foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling arms up, look up. Exhaling arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the left leg back, retain your breath. Take the other leg back into plank. Coming down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling into cobra. Exhale, back into down dog. Head and neck, gentle shake from side to side. So looking forward, inhaling the left foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling, exhaling into prayer, inhaling the arms up, look up, exhaling forward and down to a standing full bend, inhaling the right leg back, retain your breath, take the other leg back into plank, coming down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one, inhaling into cobra, exhale, back into down. We're going to a lovely restorative pigeon. It's a nice gentle class. We're going to swing the right leg through under the left, right leg through under the left. So right knee to the right outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down. So that right heel should be where your left hip bone is approximately. Arms out in front, forehead resting on your mat. So if you're wondering why I've popped you into pigeon, this fantastic posture for your piriformis glute and sciatic nerve. Shouldn't be any pain in your knee in this posture. If there is, this isn't for you, so please don't do it. And we're just staying there. Okay, so we're just going to push ourselves back up into a walking down dog, walking out those feet, head and neck nice, relaxed. And then we're swinging left leg through under the right, left leg through under the right. Left knee to the left outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down. So your left heel is where your right hip bone is, approximately. Head again, just sink on down, relax here. 
But again, should be a massive pull going on in that left buttock. We're just going to push ourselves back up once more into a walking down dog, get some blood circulating back in those thighs. We just compressed. And then when you're ready, looking forward, stepping or jumping into cross-legged on your mat. Okay, so Pachimotasana time now, seated four bend, legs out in front yet again, take hold of the fleshy part of your bottom and put it back. So you're sitting on your sitting bones. We're just gonna inhale the arms up, look up. And then we're coming forward and down. Now, ideally, thumb and fingers round the big toes, elbows drop to the sides of the calves, nose to knee, forehead to shins, eventually. Now, it feels like those shoulders are creeping up around your ears. Grab hold of the ankles instead, bend the elbows out to the side, and simply relax your head down towards your knees. If you wish to, like any asana, if you want to work it a little bit more, on the inhale, just lift up slightly. And on the exhale, you should go forward and down just a little bit further. Okay, head hanging, arms hanging, simply uncurling, we build that spine vertebra by vertebra. Up we come, we're going to give our shoulders a lovely last roll back and down. And you deserve it, it's lying in Shavasana, flat on your mats, palms facing out towards the ceiling. As always, if you're tucking your chin into your chest for me, pop your head back down your mat, just to ensure your spine and neck's nice and long. So we're just gonna enjoy the feeling of energy we've got in our bodies now that we've gained from our practice. And we're gonna finish with a little brief relaxation. So starting with your faces, make sure your eyelids, your mouth, your tongue, your jaw are relaxed. No more pranayama breathing now. Let your breath resume back to normality. Down to your arms, wrists, hands, fingers. Fingers just naturally curled. Should feel a nice warmth of energy in the ends of your fingertips. Down to your spine, your back. Let it sink into your mat, nice and heavy. Around the front of your tummy, make sure you're not holding on to any tension there. Everything lovely and relaxed. And the fronts of those thighs to the calves of feet flopped out to the side. Toes completely relaxed. So just for a couple of moments now, keep your eyes closed. Think of somewhere in your mind that's nice and peaceful and relaxing. Maybe somewhere you've been on holiday and just stay with that thought. Okay, in a minute we're going to bring some awareness back to our breath. When we're doing our exhale, I want you to suck your abdominal muscles in to ensure we're expelling all the air out of the bottom of those lungs. So taking a nice big inhale. Exhaling through your mouth. And again, nice big inhale. Exhaling. Going to bring some very gentle movement back to our bodies now, wiggling fingers and toes. Gently turn those feet out and just rocking those arms, with hands gently by your body. And lastly, just gently turning your head from side to side. Final of our stretches now, we're just inhaling the arms above the head. Really big stretch in the fingers and toes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Then exhale the arms down by your side. Doing that one more time, inhaling. Really big stretch in the fingers and toes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Then exhale the arms down by your side. We're taking the knees into the chest for a fine little hug. And as always, gently rocking from side to side to give those kidneys a final little massage. And as always, in your own time, pushing yourself up to seated when you can. So I'd like to say thank you very much, Om Shanti, for joining my Hatha class today. So as always, if you could like and subscribe to my page and share it, that'd be much appreciated. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Om Shanti, take care. Peace.